Hi, welcome to Excel 101. My name is Tomasz Rewotzi and I'll be your instructor for this course. I'm going to start off by taking a look at what's available in the templates over here. And as you can see, there's lots of them to choose from. And we'll just explore just a few of them just to get a rough idea of all the interesting things that are available. Next, we'll have a look at what is available in the ribbon. The ribbon is this green portion here that's been added in Microsoft Excel 2011. And the idea behind it is to collect all the most popular commands that you use on a regular basis and put them all in one place for easy access. So this will be a way to save lots of time for us. After that, I'll talk about how to start to enter different kinds of data, as well as how to manipulate it and move it around inside Excel, as well as how to select things like multiple columns very quickly, and also multiple rows, just like this, and also how to enter special characters, like this, for instance, and other kinds of things as well. I'll also talk about how to split and freeze frames like this, and also using the same functions in the ribbon, so that'll be a useful thing for us to see. Uh, I'm just going to put those back where they came from. Uh, I'm also going to talk about how to manage multiple worksheets. Now this course is really primarily focused on just single worksheet workbooks. However, it is very quick and easy to add sheets, so I'll talk a little bit about that as well, because you might encounter them, so even though this is a basic course, at least it's good to know a little bit about them. And near the end of this course, we'll start talking about formulas, and formulas are what give Excel its real superpowers. So it's quite exciting, and I'm sure you'll enjoy that a lot. We'll talk about functions as well that are available. You can see just a few of them here, but again, because this is only an introductory course, we're not going to cover these in great depth, at least you'll have some basics under your belt. And at the very end, I'm going to pull it all together in a final little piece de résistance because I'm going to share with you my little calorie tracker. Now, this calorie tracker, it may not look like much, but the fact is, if you follow it carefully, it'll help you keep track of what you're eating. For instance, in my case, I've lost over 60 pounds in the past few months. So not only will I be giving you very useful Excel tips, I'll also be giving you tasty, nutritious diet tips as well or maybe tasty, nutritious Excel tips, perhaps. At any rate, I hope you'll find a lot of value in this course. If not from just sheer Excel information, I'm hoping you'll also find some useful and interesting diet tips as well.